First and foremost, we pray for a speedy recovery for the President and the First Lady and all of those that seem to be that super event spreader in the Rose Garden last week. I think over the last seven months, the administration's response to this pandemic, this worldwide health care crisis uh, that has rippled across every segment of American life has been reckless and it's been irresponsible. And this isn't going away. The heat didn't push it away. It wasn't a hoax. Clearly, the president's comments today, while I'm glad that he's going back to the White House uh, and hopefully gets the very best protection as he should, to say, you know, he's had it, it's no big deal, is sending out the wrong message, the wrong signal. People who have pre-existing conditions, uh, this could be a matter of life and death as 211,000 Americans have demonstrated. It knows no social, economic, or geographical boundaries. And we all want to get the economy open. We all want to get our schools open. But until we have a national plan in place, which we still don't have, until we get a national plan in place with the resources to support that plan, we're not going to get the economy going in the way that we want it to. It's just that simple.